Welcome everybody to another edition of the Puma Zone, episode eight. Um, I'm still continuing in my beta weekend for Neverwinter. Um, right now, I'm going to be playing for this for this session. I'm going to be playing my cleric, um, and she's level nine, almost level ten. And I'm supposed to be accompanied by uh, a Max again, but uh, he seems to be AFK from his from his microphone at the moment so I, we're just going to go ahead and, and continue on and I guess I wanted to f shit I wanted to talk to him about kind of bounce some RP ideas with him tonight but uh, hopefully he'll get back to his yeah he's stroking it so and that's right see we're coming right out of the gate with with the good stuff I believe it I believe it so when he is stroking it so anyway, I'm playing my cleric, and um, I'm finding this a very, very fun class to play. She shoots like holy lightning bolts or something. She shoots a lot of holy stuff. Except for the one thing that gets me is her like weapon. She holds out this huge ass sigil looking thing. Or she holds out. It's a she. See, this thing's huge. Like, just, I, I, it's, it's like a club. I guess it could double as a mace too. I guess it makes sense. Uh, no, or <laughs> no oracle. I don't want to update right now. That's so funny. Hey Max, are you there, Max? Nope. He's not there, folks. That damn Max. I noticed something today when you go to the campfire, it gives you a uh when you hang out for a couple seconds, it gives you a buff. Uh campfire, plus one strength. Oh, it gives you a plus one to all your uh attributes. So quick out what, Sylvan? Stroking it. Are you saying that I uh, that I masturbate like a rabbit? This is uh, really strange. All these guys are just popping out of nowhere. I pissed off a lot of people. So Sovin, tell tell me in the in the chat how how do you like the game so far? Max, are you back, Max?
Guess he ain't coming back tonight. Both go pretty far. I agree with a lot of your your critiques there, um, Sovin. Uh, definitely, the um, when you loot for something, it, it would be nice to know what you're looting for. Essentially, if it's for your c particular class, um, especially, I, I definitely agree with that. I I thought that was definitely a, uh, but I, I'm guessing that's. I, I'm sure that. We're not the only ones that's probably thought of that, and I'm sure they'll fix that down the road. Um, and yeah, the, some of the interactions can be a little a little clunky, but I I think a lot of them are just just well known bugs, and um, will be fixed down the road. I have no problem getting uh, chatting using the chat box. It's it's a little different. It's a c the controls are a little different, but I think they're I think they're a lot smoother than um, um, 
I was gonna say, I think they're a little smoother than Terra in some ways. I, I feel like they're a little bit more fluid. But that's just me. The, the graphics are really nice. I think the designs are really nice. I I have to admit, though, that the characters could be a little more defined. Um, I said that in uh, another video. Um, Sometimes a uh, character models sometimes don't bother me because a lot of times people imagine their their character what they look like differently anyway than what the character model is. I mean, uh, I, I think my, I mean, she looks like an elf. I mean, I, I think she looks all right. I mean, she, I could probably worked on the, the hips and curves a little bit, but I mean, for the most part, if you really read the description of an elf, um, they do have like the long, the long faces and, you know, more of a slender body and, you know, they're supposed to be quite beautiful. And I think she's got a pretty face. The, the eyes can be a little, can be a little worked on. Um, I feel like they're a little cross-eyed, but... Yeah, maybe. I'm sure they fixed that down the road. I'm, you know, sometimes you know you you kind of have to have good game. You have to sacrifice, you know, good ca models for better gameplay or whatever. So it's it, you know it's a trade-off. You just kind of have to use your imagination a little bit. Oh yeah, I, that, I, that I understand. I, I understand, so when I understand. But you think this game does have, you know, really great RP potential though, right? I think it does. I think the RP potential is, is really good here.
Have you decided what ki what kind of character you're gonna make, or kind of what race, and you got any ideas on what you're gonna you gonna do? What are you gonna what are you gonna make? What what's what do you got so far? Well, the next beta weekend is on the 22nd to the 24th, so if anybody's interested, try to sign up for beta. Maybe you get lucky, get a get a key. If not, you know, you can. If you think the game's worth the a few bucks, you know, you can get one of the the founders packs. You guys can come play. You should go see Felicia. An invoker who spends most of her time by the altar here in the Temple of Tear. She can advise you how to invoke the power of the gods. And there is a Larissa. 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 Ooh. So, you wish to learn to invoke? Whenever you invoke, you will receive gifts for your devotion. Try. Just a note: if anybody hasn't picked this up yet, out of the videos, uh, every uh, when you get to like level eight, level nine, you get this uh, this ability for to invoke your your god. Essentially, you pray to your god, and your god gives you. A, presents, you know, and most of those presents are um, XP some astral diamonds, some good stuff. I um her her ears are probably uh, whatever the default setting was at the time. I I don't think I went down and changed them. I, I didn't do much changing on on this on this tune. I I actually didn't. Um, I didn't go through it that well. I just kind of threw something together to play. So I wasn't trying to uh, make make anything pretty pretty. But you can change. Um, you, you can change uh, most of the, most of, if not all, the features on your character. Matter of fact, right down to the how long your your nails are. Um, you can change them to really long, like almost like Wolverine, and really short. Well, I haven't uh, got out of the the newbie area. Um, yeah, but this is kind of like basic what you kind of get um, at the low levels. Um, 
And then when you get higher up, I've seen other people in some pretty cool looking armor. Matter of fact, uh, my rogue actually got a, a around level 16 or something. Got a really cool top piece, really shiny looking. So I, I think it's like an MMO out there. I think it just, uh, I, I think you, the low levels are kind of stuck with like shitty looking armor. And then when you gradually go and do dungeons and find items and do stuff, you you you're gonna get some really cool stuff. Why? Wow, what are you laughing for? There he is. Hail, adventurer! I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. The Many Arrows tribe has claimed... Good luck out there. Some of our never... The Many Arrows orcs are known for their savagery and sadistic cruelty. We've had reports of orcs torturing our soldiers around Joaquin Way, on the rise south of the Fallen Tower Tavern. Thin out their numbers and return here. We must send a clear message to the orcs. Oh, Sovin, if you're if you're curious, um, check this out. There is uh, there's my quest. It's right on the front front page of the the catalog. But. It's not working. Yep, that's the quest that I made and submitted. But unfortunately, the the um, entrance doesn't work. But I don't think that's anything to do with uh, what I did, because it was working in closed beta when I made it. Oh, look at that! Fallen Tower Jumper. Just run around here for a little bit. You'll find Fallen Tower Tavern. I have a so Sovin, I have a, a few ideas for the Puma in, in this game, but I don't know, I'm still going over them in my head.
at first I was just kind of thinking she'd just be a straight, like, uh, just a, a bro drow with, like, no memory of her past and blah, blah, blah. And then I was going to think about getting, like, uh, real complicated, um, uh, for example, like, I don't know if you ever, you ever watched Deep Space Nine, Sylvan? That's saying that I would put space in a fantasy setting. That makes no sense. Is it is it really low quality? Because uh, I've I've set this up pretty. I try to set this up pretty smooth. Domination Battlemaster controls access to the player versus player arena of Neverwinter. PvP allows you to queue up with friends to fight other. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what to what else to say about the quality. I, I've I've been messing around with the settings for a while. Um. This seems to be like best optimized for gameplay. Yeah, fortunately I can't change the revolution at the m resolution at the moment. 
Sorry. Yeah, um, I, I I'll try to for Wednesday show. I'll I'll mess with the settings and see if there's any if it's better. Um, maybe you can help me with that before Wednesday or something that uh, I could test some different settings and and stuff like that because um, the the last settings that I put down seem to really make the stream chug. I think that, you know, when I look at the character model, I really don't see, like, what, I don't see what it envisions, really what it envisions my tune. Y you know what I mean? Like, I, I think the ca the character model um, is is really just there as a, as a placeholder. I, I picture my character looking something different, but that, that's just me. Um, the, the quality of the game is really sharp, and I know you can't see it on the stream, um... It doesn't matter if I recorded this, uh, recorded this, put it on YouTube, or stream it. You're always going to have that a little bit of choppiness, so it's never going to be 100% perfect. Um, but I, I think that I think the RP potential in this game is greater than like Rift, Terror, Aeon, or even Guild Wars. Like, I love RP in all those games. Uh, well, maybe not so much Rift, but, like, Terra, I had some good RP. Um, well, semi-good RP, but, like, Aeon and Guild Wars 2, like, I had really great RP. And, yeah, the game was pretty and all that, but, uh, like, for me to roleplay, I have to have the immersion to roleplay, and, and this gives the immersion for that. You know, I think that, <coughs> this game is is pretty enough for anybody to get get in here and feel immersed and have have fun with it. I mean, for a free to play game, I mean this is this is quality stuff. You know what I mean? I I would pay fifty bucks to play this game if they were selling it. Just kind of like Guild Wars does, kind of sells it to to play it. I I think this game is better than a Rift. Um, I think this is a little bit more fluid in, in its controls than uh, than Terra, but I mean, you, you're comparing a Western game to a game like Terra, which is a Korean uh, is a, is a, is a Korean based game, and unfortunately, with the Koreans, they have such pretty games, but their gameplay is usually pretty shitty um, and pretty grindy. So people tend not to like those games just because of the grind. I think this game has prettiness and less grindiness. That answers that. And, and like I said, the RP potential is, is really good. I think it's good because if you think about it, like, okay, so I'm doing the quest that the game is providing me, but think about the, the foundry and think about all the quests that uh, people are, are going to make or have currently made and you go in there and, and do those quests and those campaigns and and those that you have you have made or your your friends have made so every day you're going to come into probably something new which is pretty cool you know you could check out you know uh for example you know you come on here and you know you see you know the, these these new um new adventures and you kind of read the overview and you kind of go in so to me i think it's going to have something new every day which it's good for content and good for role play because you're never going to be b I don't think you're never going to be bored with it. But I I guess like any other game you'll eventually get bored of it. I mean, like, for example, like, Guild Wars 2, like, I'm bored of the gameplay, but I'm not bored of the RP, if that makes sense.
Well, making the, the adventures doesn't it really doesn't take that much time once you get used to the system. I know it's always difficult to like, you know, uh, divide your time with different games. But I mean, if you if you think about it, I mean, and, and whenever Elder Scrolls or Wildstar comes out, I mean, you can see the the GW com RP community cleaning out, you know. I mean, even my, uh, my Crytocorp right now has been pretty, people haven't really been logging in, you know, because a lot of them haven't been going back to, like, older MMOs because just, you know, content it just isn't there. Well, if if you're that much of a graphic elitist, maybe I don't know. This game may, may not may not impress you. You know what I mean? I, I think they've. I mean, I think they've done. I mean, you can't really see from my end, but like I think the the world art and everything else. I mean, the only thing I think they they're really lacking on is the the character, the character model, and Oh yeah, yeah, definitely comparable to Rift. Uh, matter of fact, I think uh, I I think the the artwork is a lot better than Rift. The the design work is a lot better than Rift. I I actually been uh, I've been kind of playing Rift on and off for the last couple weeks. And I, you know, I'm not too impressed with their character models at any, anyway, you know. I look at Rift, I just see World of Warcraft, really, when it comes down to it. Yeah, I'm looking at this game for the the RP factor. Um, I I want to be able to uh, create my own campaigns. I I find it really difficult in other games to really get um, really good PvP plots in. I, yes, you can sit. Uh, you can sit here. I'll I'll show you. You're sitting, and uh, like like Guild Wars 2, you kind of ha you have to bind your key to walk. But yes, there is walking. 
And hold, hold on, let me walk for you. Oh, hold on, I gotta bind. I didn't realize I had to bind the. Um. Okay. No, no, no. I, you you can walk. You you have to bind the key. Um, I, I I you know what? I think I forget the syntax of it. Um, I apologize. I I hold on. I can flip to Annie real quick and show you the walk animation. Okay, here we go. And you can walk. So, um, it has a, a pretty uh, extensive list of emotes. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, you have a, you have like like six different dances, and uh, all, you have all sorts of different. You you have a slew of emotes, ton of them. Unfortunately, you cannot sit in a chair. Um, however, uh, from what I understand, they are looking into it. So, it's probably on the on the t on the to-do list. They just haven't implemented it yet. Were they talking about Neverwinter? Oh, there you are, finally.
<clears throat> a moment of your time. I don't think MMOs want people to s want people to sit. May Tempest give you strength. Well done. Good luck out there. Excellent work. Before we secured the road between the Fallen Tower Tavern and the Neverwinter Guard Post, the journey was treacherous. We tried sending dispatches. That's because I have Doesn't make me a many arrows. You you do get role playing clothes. I don't know if you if if you've seen my other videos that that show that. Well, my question is, are these other MMOs that are coming out, like Wildstar and The Elder Scrolls Online, are they, are they going to have uh, sitting chairs, um, you know, deal? I, I don't know. I, I doubt it. It seems like a lot, of, a lot of the current MMOs coming out, they don't really cater to that. They don't really seem to want to cater to that. They're not worried about our peers, they're worried about making money. User joined your channel. Well, I don't know. I can. I. I. I've gone this long without sitting in any chairs in Guild Wars. I'm. I'm good to go. You know, it doesn't bother me. to help according to the dispatch carry on well done those dispatches became important information it's a good thing the yorks were more concerned with waylaying our people for treasure than they were with these papers
I don't have a. Yeah, the only thing I'm, I'm sad about is I don't have a solid concept for my character yet. I have so many things bouncing around in my head. Hey, boom, I got a question. This would not be the, the most convenient time to ask me. Alrighty. What's it about? I was just wondering what that uh, website was that he had the armod list of weapons for days. I got that for you. Thank you. I got people asking me questions about DayZ now. The hell, this is never when I'm not DayZ. <coughs> there you go. Kids. Yeah. User disconnected from your channel. Back in the sewers again. You guys, you guys want to know what I'm playing? I'm totally rocking a cleric right now. Yeah, I know, huh? I don't know if I wouldn't want to drink the water down here, though. Oh yeah, full of nutrients. So we got got a few more viewers. Welcome, everybody. I'm just rocking out.
You can find so all sorts of little lore pieces uh, around that you can read. Pretty sweet. Take it easy, Risa. See you later. Thanks for coming, Risa. Car Nevrim. Nevrim. I kicked the shit out of him. Hmm. 
Watch your back. The enemy is fine work. The many arrows orc. The many arrows orcs have been aggressively encroaching on the area. They've gone so far as to plunder crates from some of our supply lines. If the Neverwinter Guard is to protect the city, we need to get those supplies back. Actually, I think that's all for me at the moment. I think, yeah, we've, we've gone about an hour or so. Uh, it's pretty much the length of the show. So uh, thanks for everybody for coming out and supporting. I'm not sure what you do with Celestial Coins. But anyway, everybody, thanks for your support. And I will put this up on YouTube sometime tonight, tomorrow. So if anybody missed it, they can see it. All right. Everybody have a good night.